So I'm moving apartments. This is actually my first apartment in New York and the one that I spent my senior year of college in. So it's definitely a bit of a bittersweet moment, but I've only been here for a year and it's New York, so it's normal to move around a lot. Nothing too crazy, but I hope you enjoy this moving vlog. If you haven't gathered already, I am a very deeply sentimental person, so despite only being here for a year, I still am feeling a little bit nostalgic, I guess, for all of the memories and all of the lovely moments and achievements and everything that has happened to me while living in this apartment. Also, another thing I guess I will be missing is just being on the west side. I can't fully like say whether I like the west or east side better because I really like living on the west side for all of the things you could do and the proximity to the west village and the west side highway i had really easy access to the hudson river which i really enjoyed and appreciated but also i feel like the east side is better connected for transit and it's also just more accessible to necessities that i would prioritize but yeah it's goodbye to the west side for now I'm just gonna do a quick little walkthrough of some of my decor. Collage wall. This is like what I do in every single place and it looks different all the time. And I don't have a headboard, so I feel like it fits really well. A lot of these are like photo booth pictures, postcards from traveling, and then just some like random little filler stuff. So this is like the coziest area I've ever made in a room. I've got my nightstand and books. This I got when I was in Italy and I made that. Got that 
that in England. And then I have my favorite dresses. This is my closet here. It's smaller than the last place, so I don't have as much room, but I feel like this was a good solution because like obviously like these take up a good amount of space and they are on display now. I've got like a few scattered postcards. This little storage situation is kind of more of like a display storage thing. Perfumes, nail polishes, random stuff, hair stuff, my jewelry, random little bits. I feel like I'm gonna change some of this um especially like this just like figuring out what works best on my desk versus on here storage stuff i love these crates i have some sweaters here and some pants just because i couldn't fit them for some people this might be a lot going on but out of all of the rooms i've had this has been the coziest room that i've decorated i've got this wall going on here another sort of collage wall i think i'm going to change this up just because i'm not really like loving the whole look of it especially this bottom there's just like a straight line going on at the bottom and I kind of hate that. I have my little window trinkets again. Just all the same stuff that I've had in the past. Love these sheer curtains. I think they're so pretty and the design on them is like this like floral pattern. Here we have my desk which again is more on the busy side. I've got my little beauty corner here. Still like trying to figure out the best layout for this but i feel like for now this works for me this chair is probably not going to be permanent it's one of our dining chairs i'm just using it in the meantime i got my little ac in this little corner of things but yeah that's my room i love how cozy it is already and i'm excited to see how i add to it as well over time hosting a little welcome dinner today for our new apartment. Our place is definitely like not done yet. Our living room is still kind of like a little dumping ground for our moving and stuff. But I mean, as you can see, a lot of my room is decorated, which it's kind of a lot, but I feel like I like it so far. I kind of like this whole maximalism <laughs> going on behind me. So yeah, we're doing a little dinner. On the menu tonight is hot dogs. We're doing like turkey dogs and vegan hot dogs. And then we've got sweet potato fries fries, a little Caesar salad on the side, and then for dessert I am making my berry crumble once again. I feel like every summer I have a go-to summer dessert that I just become obsessed with making essentially. This is very similar to the 4th of July barbecue from the last vlog, but I've really just been <laughs> loving hot dogs. I just think it's a very summery meal and thought it would just be fun and pretty simple to do. So yes, very excited. I just made the berry crumble so that's all done and then i think i'm gonna start getting a few of the things ready because i think people are coming over soon yeah exciting things <laughs> 